What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel where we talk about sneakers, streetwear, music, and everything in between. I'm your host Icarus and welcome back to the show. No pressure like logic, yo. Feel like Jordan was sung out now. Rookie moves like professional. I appreciate you guys stopping by, so don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and follow me on Instagram right here on rural.icarus. And with that out of the way, let's get to it, man. First and foremost, I want to wish everyone a happy, happy holiday. I do hope everyone's enjoying right now, and I do hope you are safe. And as 2020 is about to end, we're talking about last purchases. This last purchase of mine is another underrated pick. What you expect from your boy? Another underrated pick. And when I say underrated, yes, it's sold out, but no one's talking about these in social media, in sneaker media per se. You ever seen a what the sneaker? Their concept is to do this mismatch vibe. It didn't resonate much to me at first. I get the design, I get the idea, but it doesn't speak to me. I really want a what the sneaker but in a more subtle fashion take for example the travis scott air force ones it kind of does look like a what the sneaker but in a more subtle way and this in my opinion hits the mark real good for me what do you get when you have the jordan 4 levi's and the what the aesthetic you have the jordan 4 deep ocean Boy, I've been waiting for this pair to release this December all month long. It was originally released earlier in the December in the sneaker site and a little later in the Titan site. And of course, this shoe was an instant seller. I do think that they released in Jordan brand Manila, but I don't know if they still have sizes available. The Jordan 4 Deep Ocean, nicknamed the Sashiko 4s, is a model heavily inspired by Japanese patchwork and it retailed for $200 or roughly 10,000 pesos here in the Philippines. And I immediately went to the secondary market and grabbed my pair because I really, really, really like this design and I have a feeling this would go up in value over time just because of its unique design and its unique craftsmanship. And the design translates well to its story with its all over canvas and twill upper. But before we get to the shoes, I wanna talk about the box. Bam! You don't get a lot of navy boxes like this. Cause unlike standard Jordan 4 boxes, it comes in this special edition flippable Jordan box with a very nice red in the inside with Jumpman on the top and Sashiko prints right on the sides. And as the box tag would read, we do have Air Jordan 4 Retro SE, Deep Ocean, Fire Red, Sail. And again, opening the actual box, we have this very nice pop of red in the inside, and we get the shoe. And here we go. And as you can see with this shoe, it comes to that all over canvas and twill material in that patchwork effect with the colors mentioned before in a deep ocean navy as its base. And as we break down the shoe, I wanna talk about their similarity and differences as well. Now starting things off from the tip, both shoes from the tip to the toe box does have that deep ocean navy base with sail accents, except for the right shoe with a pop of red right here in the big toe. Now moving on to the lateral and medial sides of the shoe, we do have this canvas or twill material found in the mesh of the Jordan 4, but in that deep ocean navy base with sail stitching all over to mimic the illusion of having a mesh just like standard Jordan 4s. Again, it's only sail stitching. Moreover to the lateral and medial sides for the left shoe and the lateral eye stays, we have that pop of sail with deep ocean accents. 
As for the medial eye stay of the left shoe, we still have that deep navy base. For the lower part, we have that pop of sail with deep navy. And as for the right shoe eye stays, we have that deep ocean navy base. As we are moving further back into the left shoe, we do have that all over deep ocean navy base, but with a pop of red in the lower medial side. Now moving back into the right shoe, we do have that all over deep ocean navy base, but with a pop of sail right here in the medial ankle. And as you'd know, both sock liners of both shoe are mismatched as well. One being sail and one being deep ocean, as well as with the tongue. One being sail, one being deep ocean. And compared to other Jordan 4s, it doesn't have that upside down Air Jordan 4 tag. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of retro 4s have that tag, but this pair doesn't. And to cap things off here in the tongue, the right shoe does come in that deep ocean navy base with sail accents. Same with the left shoe, but with that pop of red right here in the medial side of the tongue. And as you've known, both shoes does come with that patch jump man sewn on the tongue. And one last difference of the shoes, they come in this default mismatched laces. The left shoe having deep ocean and the right shoe having the fire red laces. Now we're moving on to the similarities of both shoes. Both shoes does come in that semi-translucent TPU panels for its side wings to hold your laces. And the same semi-translucent material can be found in the back heel of the shoe with a jump man in the middle. And if you look closely, you can actually see patchwork right through. And as for the midsole and outsole, both shoes come in this very nice sail midsole with a navy heel clip at the back and a pop of fire red for its air unit. Apologies if you see the dirt right here in camera. I actually wore these for on-feet shots as I'm filming this video. And when it comes to the outsole, we do have this all over white base with fire red in the forefoot, navy in the midfoot, and the jump man in the base. And I really like how they finished off the outsole with that milky translucent outsole tip and outsole heel. And as for comfort and fit, the Jordan 4 Sashiko or the Jordan 4 Deep Ocean does fit true to size as I am a true size 12 and usually Jordan brand is consistent with their sizing department. Also one thing I've noticed when I wore this shoe right out of the box, it can be a little stiff, probably because of the material used. But I do think that this shoe does need a little break in period to adjust its comfort. Again, don't forget to adjust your lacing and your sock game because it would matter a lot when it comes to your overall fit. As for my advice for wide feet gang, Sean Go actually posted his video on the Jordan 4 Sashikos and he actually felt that it was roomy for him. For me, it kind of felt alright for a normal size foot, so for me it would matter a lot on your sock game. Again, my best advice would be going true to size, but if you do have a chance to try it on first before buying it, make sure you do that so that you get the right size for you. And as for comfort, you do have that standard Jordan 4 ride. While not being the most comfortable shoe in the market, I am kind of used to the comfort that the Jordan 4 provides. So for me, just like the Jordan 4 breads, the Jordan 4 Sashikos would be perfect for a casual everyday shoe. And compared to your standard Jordan 4 model, comprised of nubuck or suede or leather, this shoe actually comes in canvas and twill materials. And you don't get a lot of Jordan 4s in that. Last time I checked, the last canvas Jordan 4 was like the Jordan 4 Levi's. And that was a collection. And the resale on those are crazy. Although being an instant sellout here in the Philippines, not much YouTubers are actually talking about this shoe. That's why this shoe is super underrated because this shoe is really well built. From the craftsmanship and the overall design, Jordan brand really knocked it out of the park to make this a premium looking shoe. I would personally switch out the mismatched laces to have a more uniform look. I'll probably buy some sale laces instead. If you could grab these on retail or on a great price, I'd say go for it. This shoe for me is a 10 out of 10. And I actually got this shoe courtesy of Good Souls PH. Great account, legit seller right on Instagram. Don't forget to check out your account down below. Well, that's enough about me, man. How about you guys? Leave a comment down below and let me know what was your last purchase this 2020. And what are your thoughts on the Jordan 4 Deep Ocean Sashikos? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Always appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification 
follow me on Instagram right here on Rural.Icarus for more updates on sneakers, streetwear, and music-related content right here on the channel. I am Icarus. Happy holidays, folks. Have a safe and prosperous new year, and stay safe. Peace.